It was the night before Christmas. He lived all alone in a one-bedroom house made of plaster and stone. I had come down the chimney with presents to give and to see just who in this dwelling did live. I looked all around, a strange sight to see. No tinsel, no presents, not even a tree. No stockings on the mantel, just boots filled with sand. On the wall hung pictures of far distant lands. Medals and badges, awards of every kind. A sobering thought came alive in my mind. This house was different. It was dark, it was dreary. I had found the home of a soldier. I could see that most clearly. The soldier lay sleeping, silent, alone, curled up on the floor in this one-bedroom home. His face was so gentle, the room in such disorder, not at all how I pictured a United States soldier. Was this the hero of whom I just read, curled up on a poncho, the floor for a bed? Then I realized the other families that I saw this night owed their lives to soldiers who were willing to fight. In the morning round the world, children would play. Grown-ups would celebrate a bright Christmas day. But they all enjoy freedom each month of the year because of soldiers like the one lying here. I couldn't help but wonder how many lay alone on a cold Christmas Eve in lands far from home. The very thought brought a tear to my eye. I dropped to my knees and I started to cry. The soldier awakened. I heard his rough voice. Santa, don't cry. This life is my choice. I fight for freedom. I don't ask for more. My life is my God, my country, my core. The soldier rolled over and drifted to sleep. But I couldn't control it and I continued to weep. I kept watch for hours. So silent and still as both of us shivered from the cold night's chill. I didn't want to leave him on that cold, dark night, this guardian of honor, so willing to fight. Then the soldier rolled over with a voice soft and pure. He whispered, carry on, Santa. It's Christmas Day, all secure. One look at my watch, I knew he was right. Merry Christmas, my friend. May God bless you this night. Thank you.